We're Sarah and Ben. We're on a Scandinavian adventure. Welcome back to Diamonds on Tour. Well, here we are. This is our first day in Norway. Yay! We're super excited. Um, we drove, what was it, 869 miles, I think, mm -hmm. to get from Calais when we got off the ferry from Dover. Um, 869 miles to get up to Hirtshals, right on the northern tip of Denmark, where we got the ferry to Norway. Mm -hmm. uh, that was yesterday. And then we've driven up from Kristiansand um, along the sort of in a southwest direction, and then we've turned north. And we're now on our way to our first ski resort of this trip. Now, when we got into France, we drove north up straight through Belgium and into the Netherlands. Spent a couple of days in um, Amsterdam. Yeah. It was fabulous, wasn't it? That was it? great because we met up with Lucy, um, Ben's daughter, and we also met up with really good friends, uh, Rianne, Shu, and Ed. Yeah. We had was a fabulous. really nice few hours with them. Really fabulous. Unexpectedly. I, I had a, as usual on these sort of trips, something breaks. So we had a fuse break uh, that feeds our battery to battery charger. So Rianne was really kind and managed to sort us out a replacement fuse. And then I fitted it the next morning in a car park in uh, northern, uh, in Germany, in very north of Germany. We've just left um, the Amsterdam area and we're traveling north now to carry on with our adventure and uh, we've just had the most amazing time. Firstly in Amsterdam uh, yesterday we met up with um, uh, Ben's daughter Lucy and her partner Jayan and had a really nice afternoon with them. They're there on holiday, um, so that, yeah, it's just really nice. We, we did the canal trip, we went for some food and drink and just generally had a nice time. Um, then this morning, we met up at a restaurant with our lovely, lovely friends, Rianne, Shu, and Ed. Nice. <laughs> Hello. Hello, everybody. Hello, Sarah. Hello. Hello. You're, a bit, you're a bit shh with the sun. Yeah, yeah. Um, all diving buddies that we've uh, we've dived with a couple of times now um, and it was absolutely amazing they're all three of them they're from they're from the area of Amsterdam um, so yeah we're very grateful to Rianne for coming along with uh, the fuses that we needed and it was just absolutely brilliant uh, unexpected uh, we only planned it probably less than two days ago um, can't believe it really so really really nice it set us off 
uh, really well for our trip and uh, hope to see them again when we're on the way back down so uh, yeah just thought I'd let you all know and that was great so hi to you guys that met up with us um, thank you very very much indeed and can't wait to see you again now we spent one night at the car park of a castle beautiful place called Slot Lovenstein just over an hour south of Amsterdam and the next morning when we woke up we'd had a neighbor arrive next to us in the camper area a guy called Leon um, really really friendly chap fabulous guy to talk to about his camper and everything uh, and he's got a business called the Sunny Boys which does solar installations on buildings residential and commercial but he's also got a really interesting solar setup on his camper and it's a slide out system so the one panel in the middle and then two others that slide out one to either side I'll show you some pictures of it now and uh, really really fascinating and he's going to be um, commercializing that and making a, a really fabulous solar setup if any of you are interested contact Leon at sunny solar slides is his uh, his instagram i'll put a link here or something so you can see and uh yeah it's fabulous and what was really cool was with our drone i was able to take a couple of pictures of it for him so that he could show it off from an aerial view um, which helps to be able to um, visualize the setup from above i'll show you some pictures of it now and he, anyway he didn't have anything to be able to repay us for the uh, for these aerial shots now we don't want any repayment are really happy to help out help anybody out um, but he came over to, to our van with this huge great spliff and he said uh, he said perhaps you'd like this joint for to enjoy tonight and we said well thanks very much but actually no <laughs> that's not really our thing but it's just really cool that uh, that's what you do in Amsterdam I, I we guess <laughs> <laughs> that's the that seems to be the currency that these things are traded with so thanks Leon and uh, yeah we're just really happy to have been able to help out with your pictures oh hi uh, a little bit of running repairs today so this is one of those circuit breaker fuses which um, is in the circuit which is between the vehicle's battery and the leisure batteries at the back so it's for the battery to battery charging and this is a 100 amp trip out fuse but it's been tripping even though the uh, supply to the charging the batteries is only 60 amps so it's another example of buy cheap buy twice try and do it clever with this trip out thing that's supposed to go like that and then reset so our fabulous friend in Amsterdam went to his local motor factor and got us a new um, 100 amp mega fuse so I'm just swapping out this fuse for this one and uh, and we'll be back on the road again oh, that's one nice new fuse fitted and one old circuit breaker thing junk for the bin well that's the uh, fuse changed so we've now got a full 60 amps charging um, back working properly fused and in good order um, thanks Ryan you are an absolute star what would we do without you <laughs> it's great having this network of fantastic friends who can get you out of a little bit of bother when you find yourself in it anyway we're back on the road now heading north and we will be in Denmark very soon <laughs> Afternoon. Hello. Well, we've just stopped at this little lay-by at the side of the motorway, right in the very, very north of Germany. We're about four miles from the border with Denmark. Mm -hmm. um, so we're about to enter our first Scandinavian country. I think we worked out this is going to be our how many? 22nd country. This 22 is. countries mm -hmm. that we've driven our van through so far. So yeah, that's quite. Uh, quite a number I think. I think it's quite impressive. And there's a few more to come over the next few weeks. Yeah. So we're just going to enjoy our coffee, get back on the road, we've got about an hour's drive and we'll be at our park up for tonight, halfway through Denmark. See you there. Yeah. 
rumours that in Denmark there's some form of border. Uh, I don't know whether it doesn't look manned, but it's definitely a border. They've split the motorway um, so that one lane goes one way and the other the other. So yeah, here we go. Let's see what happens. So there's they, nobody there. They can stop you if they want to. Yeah, I think so. They'll they'll stop you if if they, if if they see you filming them. <laughs> Could be. <laughs> oh well, there we go. Denmark, here we are. But there's not a soul in sight, is there? No. Not a soul. I think this feels like COVID legacy to me. Does it? Yeah. Order done. We're tootling along. We're in Denmark, and uh, neither of us have been to Denmark before. It's a whole new experience, and we were sort of just having a discussion about what we thought Denmark might be famous for. And uh, I'm afraid we've been pretty dismal at this. Um, so we've come up with so far, and this is embarrassing: Danish bacon. Danish blue cheese, Danish pastries, so it's all food related. Uh, did we think of anything else, Ben? Lurpak butter? We think maybe Lurpak butter, and but we're not 100% sure. And Sandy Toxvig. Oh yeah, and Sandy Toxvig. Now that's pretty cool. Uh, right, so um, if you know any more, if you could put it in the comments below, please, because actually it is dreadfully embarrassing we, we will do some research I promise and find out some facts about uh, about Denmark and about the people and etc etc anyway I, but, I believe Hans Christian Andersen was from here oh Hans Christian Andersen was from here that's good because he's from Copenhagen and and I have a confession to make so earlier Ben said Ben said, um, Hans Christian Andersen's from Denmark, and I said, no, he's not, he's from Copenhagen. How embarrassing is that? God. Anyway, so yeah, there we go. Let you speak to you later. Let us know if you know any more, please. Thanks. And had um, a nice park up on the coast. Um, beautiful, beautiful park up, very quiet, yeah. and the sea was dead calm. It was just really nice. Very we pleasant. visited those uh, sculptures, the yeah, four men good. looking out to the sea. That was beautiful. Uh, and then we parked up on a, in a little car park at the side of the beach um, for our first night in Denmark. <laughs> And then the next morning we drove up north and visited the lighthouse, which was really stunning. We'll show you some of that now. Yeah, we had really good weather actually. It was really sunny that uh, that day. A bit windy and quite cold at four degrees, but there was a real wind chill factor. There was. Um, yes. And this is the Ruberg Nude Lighthouse. I've probably pronounced that wrong. I do apologize. <laughs> So this is the original site of the lighthouse and it was 200 meters away from the sea and as you can see over time the sand dunes shifted, gone into the sea and the uh, lighthouse was at risk of following it. So they moved it, they moved it and then and it's now up here 70 meters away and they did that 2019 so not that long ago really. But fabulous and it's in a magnificent spot but what they found now is obviously sand is drifting because we're on in the middle of a load of sand dunes um, and it was drifting from the eastern side so what they've done now is planted these tops of pine trees to prevent the drift you see those there 
and they're all around actually to prevent the drift against this lighthouse again there's uh, yellow bricks from presumably when they moved the lighthouse there's remnants of bricks all around here all these yellow bricks and people have um, made words out of them saga there there's, there's all liberté was over there yeah oh, quite amazing people do that don't they they find bits of rocks and make words or symbols there's a love heart here quite amazing really there's uh, somebody's written beef what, I don't know why beef but beef 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 boys beef boys the beef boys were here can you see that folks beef boys were here <laughs> Hashtag beef boys. Hashtag beef boys. Well spotted then. But there and then we stayed and then set off to Norway, which is obviously yeah. a dream destination. Yeah, we spent a know. night in a in a <laughs> park up in a forest near the Hertzschels um, ferry terminal. Hertzschels. Hertzschels. So we're sitting at the port of Hertzschels in Denmark and we're waiting to get on our ferry uh, which is going to take us to Christiansand in Norway. So it's all very exciting. Oh my goodness. Um, we've had snow this morning. I couldn't, I couldn't believe it really. <laughs> I should really believe it, shouldn't I? We are very north now, but we had a sprinkling of snow. It wasn't like we had loads. We, we just had a little, a little tiny bit, but woke up to that because we parked in a forest last night. So it was very pretty, um, but just a little bit scary, I think. Well, for me, I just thought, oh my God, here we go. Anyway, so it's all good and um, we are very excited. We got to the ferry quite early so that we were you know no pressure I, I don't like having any pressure I want to get there early rather than be uh, you know thinking oh my god I'm not going to make it so it's all good and uh, yeah we'll catch up with you I'm sure once we're on board this boat all good Ben all good see you on the boat half past nine in the morning ferry across the sea it was the smoothest ferry crossing we've ever known anywhere uh, it's four hours crossing the sea was um, I think captain said a two meter swell so fairly flat but still it would have um, you know you'd have known about it on a smaller boat it turns out these two ships this the ship we were on and the sister ship of it are the cleanest ferries in the entire world they run on liquefied natural gas um, which is, of course, something which is abundant in these parts of the world. They were um, silent, weren't they? Silent, so absolutely, absolutely the smoothest. You know, sometimes on a ferry, when they start the propellers going, you feel it going, <laughs> and none of this. You didn't even know you were moving. How did it go? <laughs> it was kind of like the Rolls-Royce of ferries, if there, if there is such a thing. Yeah. So beautiful, flat, calm sea, lovely crossing, and uh, we arrived in Norway. Sand was a bit of an industrial looking town so we didn't actually stay there and we just, it was snowing it was snowing it was snowing and it was grey and it was just a bit bleak really yeah, and yeah. with all the industry there uh, yeah we, we decided to just move out yeah so we headed north and, uh, and now here we are I've got to say, Norway is absolutely unbelievable. This this southern part, the first part we've experienced, at every corner, you've just got stunning scenery. I know we say it an awful lot on these trips. Yeah. Um, I have actually brought a thesaurus with me this time. It's inside the van, so hopefully we can come up with some different words to describe these things. But um, 
I mean, just look, look at this. Look at this, it's Let amazing. Me turn around, look at that behind me. So that's pretty good, isn't it? Not bad at all for a view. It's like a, from mill, this, a mill pond, from it's this so calm. Park up at the side of this road. You can probably see the road back there. It's quite a busy road. Quite a few trucks coming down. Um, and you're sure you can hear them as well. But um, she yeah, stunning. In the ice, the ice. Oh yeah, the ice. so there's a bit of ice on the lake here, past this picnic area. Now what's quite cool is that the um, there's like a perfect straight line where there's uh, not frozen and frozen. Um, I would guess that's probably where the shadow of the sunshine is during the daytime when the sun's up. That's probably the line where there's a shadow and so it doesn't melt. Um, one other thing, the, the roads, amazing the way they build the roads. So the, uh, the tunnels are everywhere because you've got to get through these mountains. And quite often a tunnel will come out and straight onto a bridge across a fjord. I'll show you a video now of coming through a tunnel. We came straight out onto a massive great um, high bridge over a, uh, a fjord. And then into the tunnel on the other side, and then inside that tunnel, there was then a road junction, <laughs> and we took the uh, the slip road off that, down through the mountain, and popped out at the side of the fjord. and then down to uh, a place which was a potential park up. Yeah, I think a road junction in a tunnel is a brand new experience for both of it us. It certainly is, certainly is. So we're gonna get back on the road now. We're heading further north up to a ski resort where we're gonna suss that out and hopefully we'll be doing some skiing tomorrow. Mm, excellent. Thank you for joining us on the first part of our Scandinavian adventure. We hope you've enjoyed it. We've now arrived at Sirdal Ski Resort, so come back next week to see how we get on. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next week.